Where did it go? According to state investigators, the Greater Johnstown School District cannot account for a massive amount of money. Carrie Corrado has been looking into, and, into this, and Carrie, we're not talking dollars and cents here. This is $8.7 million apparently missing. Oh, yeah, Jen, a very significant amount of money. Now, this is over 10 years and four audits, so trying to figure out exactly where that money went. They say there's no receipts and no documentation. The blunt truth is taxpayers in the greater Johnstown area are getting clobbered by this. Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale says it all. He says the Johnstown School District could not provide documents for $8.7 million in transportation reimbursements, meaning it is the cost of the contractor. So the contractor's cost would include fuel, employees, maintenance on the buses, etc. Auditors say they are unable to verify if the district got the right amount of money. The reality is. This is an unacceptable amount of money that cannot be justified. Outrage not only at the $8.7 million, but also Pasquale says he's concerned that the district continues to spend more than it's getting, leaving taxpayers to pay the difference. They had promised that in three other audits, and they have failed to meet their promise. The time is well past that they get the benefit of the doubt. We need to do our part on our end to continue to hold their feet to the fire. Certainly, I'm sure taxpayers are going to have a view on this. Parents should be outraged by this as well. D. Pasquale says taxpayers should have record of where their money is going within the school. What needs to happen moving forward is they need to improve their processes so they can document this. Because I'm telling you, the day is coming when a secretary of education is going to say, if you don't have the documentation, we're not sending you the reimbursement. The superintendent of Johnstown School District says he appreciates the work of the auditors and will focus on the recommendations given to them. Now again, this is $8.7 million, so it's almost impossible to look back to figure out where this money is, but that's something they're working on. The Greater Johnstown School District superintendent says they're just trying to move forward. Live in the newsroom, Carrie Corrado, 6 News.